Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to password protect a SPSS file. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to password protect a SPSS file, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let's begin by talking about data security. Data security is a very, very important challenge particularly when you're working for an overseas client or if you're working for government sector. Many times, the clients are concerned about the data security. Under these circumstances, when data has to be maintained securely in the premises of an organization, you might not want your colleagues or your friends or any stray individual to have a look at the confidential sensitive information of a particular company. How do you handle such a question? This is where encrypting the file by using a password comes in handy. And in today's video, we'll be looking at a very interesting feature wherein we can use the password protection option in SPSS to password protect a file. As you can see here, Right now, what I have is a blank SPSS sheet. Let me quickly load some data. To load the data, I'll go on to File menu. Here, I'll choose the option Recently Used Data. SPSS displays 10 recently used file. Right at the top, you have an option which is called as Employee Data. Let me go ahead and click on the employee data, SPSS now loads this particular file. As you can see here, this is a data set which has demographic details of employees who are working for a bank. You can see the first variable is employee ID. Second variable is the gender of the employee. Then the third variable is birth date of the employee. Then you have other variables like education level, job category, salary, so on and so forth. Now, let us say I want to password protect this file so that none of my colleagues, none of my friends are able to open this file. How do you password protect this particular file? By the way, you can see at the top, it displays employeedata.sev. To password protect a file, what you have to do is go to the file menu. In the file menu bar, you have different options. You can use the save as option. This is the sixth option from the top. Let me go ahead and use the save as button. This leads to a new dialog box, which is called as the save data as dialog box. As you can see here, there's an option to look in a particular path. I can click on the drop down menu here, choose desktop. I'm going to save this file as employeedata.sav. You can see here in the save as type option, it displays .sav. Below this, there's an option which is called as encrypt file with password. Let me enable this particular option by selecting encrypt file with password. Now, let me go ahead and click on the save option. Even before you save, there are a couple of options which I'd like to introduce. There is a button to the top which says variables button. This button tells you which all variables you want to save you might not want to save all the 10 variables that are present in the data set. So let me go ahead and choose the variables button. This will open up a new dialog box, which is called as save data as variables option. There's a small description which says only selected variables will be saved to specified data file. By default, there is a tick mark put against each and every variable. SPSS has selected 10 out of 10 variables, which means that all these 10 variables will be saved. 
there is an option called as drop all. Let me go ahead and click on the option drop all. Once you click on the drop all, you can see here the tick mark vanishes. Let's say I want to say uh, I want to save only three variables, namely ID, gender, and salary. By putting a tick mark against only these variables, what happens is SPSS would be selecting only these three variables. You can see a message here where an SPSS says select three of the 10 variables. Now you can click on the continue button. Once you click on the continue button, you are ready to encrypt the file with a password. How do you do this? All that you need to do is click on the save button. The moment I click on the save button, this leads me to a new dialog box, which is called as encrypt file dialog box. At the top, it says file password. Specify a password for opening the file. Let me go ahead and create a password for this particular file. I've created a password. I've again typed the password to confirm the password. SPSS gives a message of caution. It says this password is not recoverable if it is lost or forgotten. This is a very important point. We can't recover the password if we forget it. So we have to be very, very careful and we have to type an easy password. Second point is that the file will not open unless the correct password is entered. This is a good thing. The third point here is SPSS Statistics 20 and earlier releases cannot open these files. And finally, it says passwords are case sensitive. At this point, may I request you to give a very simple password so that you are able to recollect the name of the password. Let's say you happen to open this file after a month and you do not recall what's the password that you had typed. In such a case, there is no way of recovering this particular file. So it's always better to respect the case sensitivity when you're specifying the password. Secondly, give a easy password so that you're able to recall the password. Now you can go ahead and click on OK. What has happened at this stage is that a password has been set and the file has been saved and it can be opened only with the help of the password. Let me close this particular file. I don't want to save any changes. Fine. Let me quickly go to the desktop. You can see here, this is the name of the file which I have saved. It is called as file1.sav. In fact, my apologies, it is called as employeedata.sav. This is the new file which I had created, employeedata.sav. In case I want to open this particular file, I can start with a blank sheet, go to the file menu. The second option from the top is the open option. Here, there is an item which is called as data option. The moment I click on data, this leads to a new dialog box, which is called as open data dialog box. Here, there's a option to select the file. The file that I will be selecting is employeedata.sav. Let's now wait and watch. I'm going to hit the open button because I want to open this particular file. You can see here, SPSS does not open the file. It is asking me to enter the password. It, it displays the, my apologies, let me say this again. It displays the path of the file and it says, what is the password? Let me specify the password for this particular file and click on OK. 
you can see here SPSS displays only those three variables which I had earlier saved. So this is a very good option to save a particular file by enabling the password protection option. As I mentioned earlier, this is very, very useful, especially if you're working with banking data. Imagine if your client happens to be a client from the banking sector, there are many financial details of the customers which the client might not want everybody to access. So you might want to give limited access and the access might be allowed only for specific people. This is where password pro protecting the file is useful. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we have seen how to encrypt a file by providing a password. I request you to subscribe to my channel. Also like and share my videos. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. Have a great day ahead.